Okay, this is a seed mat, and this gets to uh, 70 to 85 degrees, and it just keeps the roots of those uh, seeds warm. They keep the seeds warm while they're germinating. It makes them germinate a lot faster. And then we're going to have the light on the top, because um, when seedlings are growing, when they get really small like that, um, even though we're in a greenhouse kind of situation, they're still reaching for wherever they feel the light's at. And if you have a light right above, then they've got that warmth, and then they grow straight up, and they get a real strong stem on them. So that's what we're going to do now. Well, it sure didn't take long for our seeds in our bed over here to germinate, and they were probably not as spoiled. <laughs> These will be pampering seeds. <laughs> but we had some pretty warm days. What did it get up to the last few days? It was like, for here, like 45 degrees with the sun shining. And, and, um, Which made it about 85 in here. We were, yeah. well yesterday it was up to almost 95. We had to turn the fan on. So an outside temperature of 45 degrees, and we had to turn the fan on to keep it down below 95. That's pretty good. That is cool. I'll let you stand over here. So the reason I'm putting these plastic tops on is to keep the humidity in there. It's like creating a, a mini greenhouse. But as soon as we see a little, uh, a little piece of the plant starting to come up, then we need to put that to the side and let some air get underneath there. Otherwise they'll, um, they can rot right away or they can, uh, oh, what's the word, damp off on you. All, like all of a sudden, the next morning they're all dead. Mm -hmm. And that's usually caused by too much water when they're trying to germinate. So you're gonna leave the tops on for a while. Just, yeah, we're going to leave the tops on just until we see those suckers popping up like we're seeing the radishes and stuff. Right, okay. Then those come off. So we turn this on, and I forgot to get a, uh, um, what do you call it, a timer. Well. Well, how does it go on? What are we doing? Turning the light on. Oh. Is that just a switch? Well, how low do you want the light? Ha ha! Hmm. Probably... Oh, I don't know about... Make it a, like a foot of above. Okay. I gotta go up a little higher. He can look pretty good. Yeah, that'll work. So they're gonna, we're, and we're not gonna water these a whole lot. We're gonna check them every day, and they need to be damp on the top, but not wet, wet. We'll probably just uh, spray them with that real light spray thingy every day, every morning. So they are ready to rock and roll. Well, what's this project over here? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's called I'm cold and wet. It's cold and wet outside. Really cold to go out and cut that lumber. What they're working on right now is a very heavy duty trellis that in the cool season will be peas and uh, beans, yellow beans, that type of thing, and then the next crop might have uh, watermelons and uh, honeydew melons, cantaloupe, that kind of thing. So that's why it needs to be very sturdy to hold all that weight up there. So we're trying to maximize the square footage as much as possible because all that space up here to the top is really dead air. So we want these guys to grow as high as they can. So the guy started lower and then each one goes higher and higher and higher. Oh. 
Wow. Somebody put that board on crooked. <laughs> or that whole bed's going downhill. <laughs> From down here, it looks like it's way off. Oh. Well, Paul, I think we should cock it. Okay, we won't cock it. No, we we'll need to cock it. <laughs> no, no, cocking is bad. Cocking is bad. So the chicken wire they're putting in between the two by fours here, that's where the beans and watermelons and cantaloupe and Oh, cucumbers, anything that grows upwards, that we can try to grow upwards, is going to go on these. So, you tying two of them together there, Paul? Yep. It ain't gonna fall down. Well, not in a windstorm anyway. Well, you don't want it to fall down when there's a whole bunch of watermelon hanging up there. <laughs> Is it watermelon proof? You think we can buy an extended warranty on it? Mm. On this? I don't <laughs> think I don't think we took out that. But I think we had to buy that in advance. Only twenty dollars. I don't think so. If it falls apart, I'll come back and fix it. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> this is taking like forever. Way longer than I thought it would. <clears throat> well, I didn't have the camera on when I did my part, so. No, not, not yet. Let me, yeah. okay. let me get all this nail down first. Peas, green peas, yellow peas. Um. I got a peas. <laughs> oh, regular peas. Oh my gosh, those are the best. Even one of the pod. And then, like, like I said before, then our I'm next crop. Cage myself in here. Huh? Caging myself in here. We're yeah. Gonna, <laughs> we're going to have a cage match. Then you can just bring me beer every once in a while. <laughs> okay, that's Gary's new cage. Yeah. Do you want a dog or something to keep you company? He's got me. <laughs> what? You want a dog to keep you company in the cage? Yeah, no, 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 no. I do better by myself. <clears throat> Paul, you look like you have a great big leaf on your head. <laughs> that is really cool. Okay, so if you had eyes coming through there, you would be the cup of it. Plant head. By the way, this is poultry wire. Not Chicken coop it's wire. Not chicken wire. <clears throat> poultry wire. Poultry, poultry wire. wire. So you need to grow some poultry. <laughs> Do you have any poultry seeds? I'm gonna have to work on that one, honey. Just like that. You would probably say instead of 
something for cows, you would say livestock, I guess. Okay, um, I'm going to go cut up some more. <clears throat> some what? I'm going to go cut up some more. So you went 35 squares? <clears throat> I was going to go cut up some more. Well, they're 35 full squares. 35 full squares. So tomorrow when, <clears throat> when this trellis is done, or whenever it's done, then I will plant um, the highest growing peas in the back row here because we want to be careful about shading. So the peas that are really, 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 really tall, that's what's going to be going back here on this, on this first one. I'll probably do the same thing with this one here. Same kind of beans. And then getting into this one, I'm thinking that will be peas. Because peas don't get as high as beans do. So we could put that there. Maybe even another pea, because we all love peas. And I want to do some uh, yellow wax beans too. So I'll probably mix those in between um, the green ones back, back in the back. And they can just grow up together. Okay. And he'll be knocked my finger one time. That's it. He only knocked my finger once. I think we're done. I think we're done too. Alright, so, it looks awesome. So you're gonna have to till it back up because we've been stepping all over it. It's all compacted now. Oh yeah, you can see all that fire going down. And towards the sides, chicken wire on both sides so I can go through and, through and do my harvest. Cool beans. I'm assuming this is the only one she wants to.